welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we are going to do an unboxing and uh, an install of some uh, carbon side mirror covers from uh, the company Koshi Group in uh, Kosovo. Uh, it's a company I have been following for a while uh, on Instagram and on YouTube and so on and uh, it seems like they are manufacturing uh, really high quality carbon parts so uh, I was a little bit curious um, uh, I wanted to get some uh, carbon uh, covers for my side mirrors and uh, I haven't opened the package yet I got it delivered uh, just a couple of uh, minutes ago uh, all the way from uh, Kosovo and uh, let's open the package and see what we have inside. It seems to be really well uh, packaged uh, with a lot of tape here. It was delivered by DHL, express delivery. Okay, we have some bubble wrap here. Mm. <laughs> Since it's carbon fiber, it's um, very light. Uh, almost feels like air. <laughs> Here we have the first one. Really, really nice. Um, and what I like about Koshi's parts uh, is that they seem to be uh, very well made. And you can see in the little details like sort of this uh, lip here that's going underneath um, the plastic uh, on the side mirror. Just as uh, the stock cover, uh, I have seen a lot of uh, bad quality covers uh, that don't have these kind of details to them. And also, as you can see here, you even have a little sort of tab here. Um, and that is a feature I haven't seen on uh, any other carbon cover. Of course, I will uh, polish them, uh, but already from the manufacturer, uh, it's a very high gloss and uh, shiny finish to it. Very nice. Let's unwrap the other one. I put this one to the side for the moment. And we have the other side. First one was for the right side, and this one is for the left side. Uh, really, really nice. This is going to look so good on my car. Uh, can't wait to install these. And of course, I will uh, take you through uh, the whole process of installing them. Really, really, really light. Uh, and that is what I like with the uh, Koshi. Uh, it seems like they have really high quality parts. So check them out. They have a lot of different parts, uh, especially for um, like a bath and uh, Alfa Romeo, but they have uh, carbon parts for other cars as well. I don't know if it comes out good on the camera, but um, uh, it's a really deep and gloss carbon pattern here. Very nice. I have some more stuff here. Let's see what this is. Okay, a lot of stickers. Small Koshi stickers. 
uh, two more, so four in total, and two a little bit larger stickers here. So uh, check this company out, uh, Koshi Group Carbon Fiber Solutions, uh, koshigroup.com. They are located in uh, Kosovo. Uh, well, it's time for installation of the carbon fiber mirror cap here on the left side mirror. And uh, the first step is to remove the glass. We need to do that uh, to be able to get to the plastic tabs, locking tabs that are uh, behind the glass. So the first step is to remove the glass so we can uh, pry on the plastic locking tabs to get the OEM cover off here. And to get the mirror glass out, uh, it's just a matter of sort of prying it out. Uh, I will show you, I have um, my own technique where I will use actually a mobile phone uh, holder with a suction cup that gives me a little bit of a better grab on the glass. Uh, but I will show you here in a minute. Uh, the first step, uh, just so we don't damage the plastic trim here, is to cover this with some masking tape. So I will mask this up as a first step. I put on double layers here so I get a good uh, thickness of the tape so it will protect the plastic uh, trim here. And then I will adjust the mirror. So I uh, put this side as far in as possible and the top side as far in as possible. So you make space here in the lower portion of the mirror. Then I will actually take one of um, these. This is a mobile phone holder with a really good suction cup here. And I will attach that to the mirror uh, just right here. And then I will sort of pry with the, with the plastic tool I have here. So let's see how this will work. Like, like this, and then I will. Oh. So I have a really good grab on the on the glass here, and now I will sort of use the suction cup here to give me a bit of momentum, and I will just pry it out with this tool here. I go far in. And like that, I have the glass out. Easy peasy. It's a very, very effective way of doing it. Um, in this way, you, uh, you won't have to be afraid to drop the glass. Uh, it's very securely attached here to the suction cup. So now I will remove the connectors to the heated glass here. One. The brown cable was on the bottom and the black one on the top. I don't think it uh, matters anyway, but uh, just to be sure. Uh, here I have the glass. And on the glass you have this uh, bent plastic tab here uh, that goes to the slot. There's a slot uh, down here. Uh, let me grab a flashlight so I can uh, light up so you see. So this plastic um, tab here goes in to the slot there. And the OEM plastic cover is attached with uh, a set of plastic tabs. You have one and you have two and you have three. And you have one up here, the fourth one. 
one, two, three, four. So uh, let's try to uh, pry those locking tabs and get the OEM cover off. So, there it came loose, perfect. So we have one, two, three, four locking tabs and on the carbon fiber caps, uh, I think the one I showed you in the beginning of the video is uh, this one. So we don't have these four tabs on the carbon fiber ones. On the OEM uh, carbon fiber uh, mirror caps, there is actually an outer housing of carbon fiber and an inner sort of construction uh, of plastic uh, where you have these four tabs. Uh, but since mine isn't OEM, it's off the market, it's, um, they are from Koshi Group, um, I need to secure the caps in another way. Um, I guess the tab, uh, this lower tab here will uh, grab, but I guess I have to sort of um, uh, either glue them with some uh, epoxy glue or something, or some uh, double-sided adhesive tape, some 3M uh, VHB tape or something. Let's see what uh, I choose to do. Uh, in order to secure them in place. Uh, but here you can see the little sort of lip that I also showed you in the beginning of the video that the Koshi carbon fiber caps have uh, as well. And this little lip goes in under the plastic trim here. Uh, let's clean this up a little bit here. I think I will put some uh, MS polymer bond here. Um, just a couple of sort of dabs, uh, one, two, three, maybe, to secure the top side here. And then the underside or the bottom side, it's secured uh, into this slot here. So here is where the locking tab on the new carbon fiber mirror caps will hook up. Um, actually, I saw there was a lot of uh, sort of standing water here down, both here where the cable goes uh, down and also in these plastic compartments here. In the long run, I don't think that will be uh, very good to have a lot of water here, but I guess that is how uh, these mirrors are constructed. So uh, let me dry this up here a bit. Uh, I have now cleaned uh, both this surface here and the inside of the uh, carbon fiber cap with some uh, rubbing alcohol to get it free from uh, dirt and grease and so on. So my glue will uh, stick really good. I will use some uh, MS polymer glue, so it's not silicone, uh, as many of you might think. Uh, I don't think that silicone is uh, good uh, to use on cars, since it will uh, uh, have a tendency to ruin uh, future paint jobs and so on. So uh, very important. No, no silicone, it's an MS polymer multibond glue. Before I apply the glue, uh, I will put some masking tape here on this uh, plastic trim piece here. Uh, just to protect it, if we have some excess glue that is um, sort of uh, coming up here. But my plan is to put these um, glue spots a bit further in here, so when I put the lip under here and put some pressure on, uh, the glue will sort of flow out 
in here and not come up here. But just to be on the safe side, I will put some uh, protective tape here uh, anyway. So, I think that will be good. I think I will put glue in four spots here. I think I put one here. One there. Perfect. And now I will take the carbon fiber cover here. And uh, I will sort of try it and get the lip in under. So, perfect. So. And there it locked into place. To secure this one, I will put some pressure here. Go deep in here, so. Oops. Comes me. Go all the way around. Come up here. Put one last here on the side. Perfect. Now I will let this sit overnight to uh, dry properly and uh, before I um, remount the mirror glass here again. So let's move over to the left side and uh, do the same process uh, with that one. But since you followed me on this side, I don't think it's necessary to uh, go through all the steps again. So let's do a time lapse uh, on the left side mirror cap. Both of the carbon mirror caps are now in place. Uh, they are secured with some masking tape here. And I must say that the fit and finish is perfect. Uh, I don't even think that you need to glue them in place like I have done. But since I 
like to overdo things and I really want them to stay in place not come loose. Uh, I use some, some glue but I think they will snap in place uh, just as they come from the factory since they have the locking tab uh, on the bottom of the cover. Let's check the other side. Perfect. I will let them dry overnight and uh, I'll come back to mount the mirror glasses tomorrow. But so far this is looking really good and this will be a improvement to my car and I'm looking forward to purchase more parts from Koshi Group. Four hours has passed and it's now time to remove the masking tape here and see how the result is. masking tape is uh, off and I must say the result is stunning. I feel like a child on Christmas Eve. Uh, it's almost silly uh, how carbon fiber sort of have a hypnotic effect on you. Take a look at this. It's just stunning. It's beautiful and I can't wait to buy more parts from uh, Koshi Groups for my car. They have a lot of uh, carbon fiber stuff, uh, especially for uh, these Abarths. So uh, now it's time to reinstall the mirror glasses uh, on each side and then we are done with this installation. It's time to uh, reinstall the mirror glass here and I will reconnect the, the wires here for the heated glass and then it's just a matter of uh, pushing it in place. We have these locking tabs here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in total. So I think it was the brown cable on the bottom, connector here. So, first one, and then it's black, top. So, okay. Both cables are now mounted. And now I will push the mirror glass to the ring. And as I mentioned yesterday, this uh, bent plastic tab here, uh, it, you have to line it up in the slot here. So. It's in the slot. I should be able to just push it in place. Perfect. Let's do the same thing on the other side. then push it on. So, snaps in place. Perfect. And the mirror is possible to move. Now this project is done and this is the end result. Really good, looking beautiful. And I'm very happy with the quality, fit and finish of the Koshi Carbon mirror caps and as you can see the installation process is pretty straightforward it's a little bit uh, fiddling with uh, removing the mirror glass and so on 
but uh, once you have them off then it's pretty much just to exchange the OEM plastic covers with these carbon covers instead. And uh, I think the end result is really really good. If you like this video and want to uh, see more from me of upcoming Abarth modification content please subscribe and uh, also hit the notification bell to be sure not to miss it. Thank you.